I haven't had a chance to talk to you this, this weekend, but obviously you take the series from, from Bowling Green. Impressions of what you, how you think your team have, you know, performed this weekend? You know, we're, we're, we're learning. Um, Saturday wasn't a good day for us. Uh, we learned as to when you lose in college baseball, why you lose. And it's, it's throwing strikes, it's making plays, and it's quality at bats. And we didn't do enough of that on Saturday. I give Bowling Green a lot of credit, man. That's an older team. They run the bases. Uh, I don't know if I could admit better than us, but I think they did this weekend. I think they ran the bases better than we did, um, and they played extremely hard. So I was just glad to see us bounce back after a frustrating day yesterday. Um, and we continue to showcase our, our talent, our depth, position player-wise, and uh, we get another quality start, you know, in week two from Carson. And, you know, Koger coming out with, with a rally there. Um, kept it in check, so did a lot of good things today. After two weekends of competition, how do you feel about that rotation on the mound, your, your three starters there? Well, obviously Riley is not is not going yet, but yeah. he's got you know as much pedigree um, just with his experience and how many times he has pitched on the weekend. And um, again, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously sensitive because he didn't get to pitch all summer and fall. Uh, no, he's frustrated. He's just got to work through it. That's all. Riley's smart enough and tough enough to know you just got to work through it. So, um, but it's getting opportunities to see other guys. And Tucker Biven, you know, gives us quality innings yesterday. And um, so I keep emphasizing every pitcher, we need you. I mean, it, I don't care what point in the game and how many innings or how many pitches, but if we're going to be the team we hope to be, it takes a full pitching staff, you know. So, these weekends, these games are opportunities for guys to, to get outs, and for the most part, we did this weekend. Uh, one of your two-way guys, the, the freshman Patrick Forbes, had a chance to go to the mound for the first time yesterday. Came out and had a great day at the plate today. Yeah. Your impression of how he's performing as both a pitcher and as a hitter? Uh, well, I think far. you know you could see the talent uh, in guys like Forbes and Biven, real two-way guys. They mm -hmm. they have a chance to sit in the batter's box and. You know, Tucker Biven gets a hit today. I don't even know if we gave him an at-bat in the scrimmages because we were making sure he was healthy on the mound. And, you know, Tucker's a little farther ahead maybe on the mound, and Forbes might be a little farther ahead as a position player. But two two-way guys that we're, we're going to need production both in the batter's box and especially on the mound. And, like, I've, I've told them both this year, uh, we need you on the mound. I just, you know, with, with the roster limits and – and health statuses and making sure you got enough arms. Um, so I'm just, I'm glad they're in our program. You know, I'm glad they chose to come to, come to college and it's going to be fun watching them grow these next couple of years. One of the things I was curious about today, because as I've been talking to, you, to your guys after one win after another, you know, a couple of like, hey, we're, we're going to try and be 8 0 by the time we go to Houston. I was curious to see how they would respond after getting kind of ugly beat up a little bit yesterday. What, what was your thoughts on how they took the loss and then clearly won big today? Yeah, um, I learned a long time ago, man, don't look ahead on that on that schedule. Um, there's no more important game than the one right today. And I talked about in the outfield, there's no more important game than, than Tuesday. So um, if you're mature and you're professional, um, I was happy with the way we did bounce back after a really frustrating day yesterday and give the credit to Bowling Green because they, they played better than us. They earned it. They caused a lot of the frustration. I like how professional we were and didn't get too high, but you know there was definitely a lot of focus today and, um, and we bounced right back. So I'm super excited about practice, the preparation into a, you know, a Tuesday game. Again, a good program with a lot of good players and good coaching staff. And you know, it's gonna be, a, it'll be a battle Tuesday.